put it up to watch everyone. And today, we are doing a, um, Left 4 Dead 2 Survivors tier list. Um, obviously this is going to be based on, um, personalities and... Yet again, remember, trigger warning, this is just based on my opinion. Alright. Some of these characters I just don't like. Some of these characters I really like. That probably, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're the overrated ones. Um, but who knows, I mean... I don't know if any character will go into uh, D. And I forgot to edit this, but I can't be bothered. I'm just going to leave it like that. So, S, you know, still the same. It's a good tier. Bottom tier. Pfft, can't be asked. Making the list. Can't be bothered. Anyways. So, we're just going from order. Go from left for it 1 to left for it 2 characters. So, like I said. It's going to be based on personalities or... Is how much I like the character. Like I said, I don't know, like, the deep story, or, like, I don't know how to say, like, like, every character's backstory. I literally, like, like I said, it just matters how much I like the character in the game. The backstory or nothing, I don't care about. And how annoying they are. They could be in the game, or how funny they are in the game. Because none of these characters, like, it's not like, oh, coach can, can um, run two times more than Nick. You know, if that wasn't thing, there would be no way, because coach is thick. Wait, what? Or if like, Rochelle can like, have an extra, you know, like dumb shit like that. That's only specified to a specific character it's really dumb in my opinion i'm pretty sure back for blood has that. i really don't like that concept each character having their like own thing because if you just want to play a certain character but you can't because that character sucks you know what i mean like overwatch for example like you think that character looks cool he says cool things it's just an example i don't play overwatch but it's just an example but each characters have like attackers, like none of that in the first day. Okay, let's just get started. Oh my god, three minutes in. Anyways, so we start with Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Bill is a badass. I'm saying that right now. He is probably like my most favorite character, at least in the Lifford Day one. But yeah. Again, he sacrifices himself in the sacrifice, obviously. But, man, then you just didn't see him dead in the passing. And then they brought him back in Dead by, dead by Daylight in the DLC. And they brought him back in a DLC skin pack for Dying Light, which was free. And I had that skin. So I used that when I played Dying Light. <coughs> you know, when I did play it. Anyways, um... Yeah, Bill, I mean, it's not much to say. I mean, well, lines, see? See, I can't, the thing about lines is I don't really remember that many lines. Not not to say that they're a bad character, just don't. Like, <clears throat> I know at times Bill can be funny. And he's the most serious out of the group. Because if it wasn't for him, like, I'm pretty sure he's, like, the leader of the group. Because he was, like, in the military. And he's fucking holding his sacred for who knows how long. Fucking lights it, light it, lights it up with a Molotov in the sacrifice. It's just, that's just badass, bro. Maybe he's overrated, but I don't really think so. Okay, maybe he is, because... Because, um, you know, I don't know, he, he's just still my favorite. And only Left 4 Dead 1 character I like to play as. Bill. Because he's like the leader. And that's like me. 
I, I like carry my team. Nah, I'm joking. But anyways, Francis. Uh, Francis is like kind of annoying. And no, I'm not gonna say based on any char character based on their bot versions. I would, but no. <laughs> Just nothing that I just based on if I just like the character or not. I don't think it's not. I'm not gonna give that many reasons because because I'm not gonna remember every single line. But yeah, and it comes down to which one I like to play as. I mean, there's only one character on each Left 4 Dead team I play as. One which is Bill, one which is Coach. But I still don't won't make the other characters bad but yeah I mean I don't really care who I play as honestly but this doesn't really matter but meh. Francis on the other hand though like I say he can be a bit annoying with his uh I hate this I hate Van I hate I mean I'm pretty sure at times he can be like Serious, but it's like that one kid, the wanna be badass. Like, got the looks, but in reality, like you heard this bitch scream, like, <laughs> like you fucking screams like a whiny little bitch. I kind of want to put him in D tier, cause his scream is so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, his scream when he's in the cap, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh my god, it's kind of hilarious though. Oh, I don't know. Man, it's kind of tough. <laughs> Bro, his screams are just what gets me. Are kind of what makes me like him a bit more. I don't know if, it, like I said, I don't know if any character will go on bottom tier, but... Man, I don't think he's on B. Like, he's high B. Or, like, high C. He's not bad, but, like... I don't know, it could be a bit better. I don't know. Lewis, on the other hand. He has a drug addiction with pills. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, he, he... Like, I'm pretty sure he used to be, like... Worker, I mean, obviously. Now, no shit, maybe all these guys used to be workers. Like, like I mean, like... Yeah, like... I don't know. Pretty sure he had a fancy job, high-paying job. Just say that, the least. A good career. Like, I, something I will never have. Anyways. Lewis. He has a pill addiction, but yeah, he's positive. Like, I'm pretty sure he says positive shit throughout the time. Like, hey guys, I think we'll make it. And then, so he's like, like the, um, positive guy of the group. That tries to, like, bring up the mood. Hmm. I think, I think I might. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, favorite lines. Like, as a character... Hmm. I'm not really giving much uh, details on why I'm putting uh, these characters, but then again, I don't know. Like, I, like maybe I could just go on my phone and try to search up lines, because I don't remember them by heart. I could probably, if I searched up a line right now, I probably would recognize. Oh, like I recognize that line that he says in game. Like I would recognize it. I don't re really recognize any lines, to be honest. But yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna put them. Um, I'll see. I don't know, cause I can't really think of much to say about him. Probably like. D even, but like, none of them are really bad, but eh. Zoe on there, the hand. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, <coughs> rule 34. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with him? Anyways, Zoe. I mean, honestly, as a guy, you can't tell me she is. Oof, I mean, she's probably not that. Like, for a video game character? Like, yeah. I mean, she ain't thick, but like. And she ain't. But yeah. She just has that face. You know? But yeah, her lines. Hmm. I, like I said, I don't remember any character's lines. Even though I've been playing the game for like, what, eight years? And still can't rem memorize every single line. I'm pretty sure there's only like one character out of all of these I can remember the lines for. Well, I'll say who it is once I get to that person. Zoe. You know, because all of the um, <coughs> artwork of her and whatnot. I think she deserves S tier. And all the <coughs> mods. Oh, wait, what? Um, that makes her out times better. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just ranking the base on looks at this point. Not really on personality. But I don't know, man. She cool in game. Like. I don't know. Her moanings. Wait, what? Um, she... Yeah, I mean, I said what I needed to say. Anyways, <coughs> Nicholas. Nicholas, hmm, interesting character, say the least. He's definitely a funny guy. I can remember some of his funny lines. Like, um, you really gonna shoot a guy in a $300 vest or something? <laughs> like, bruh. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think he's S tier. Because I, I really memorized their lines a lot more. Like, Bill's lines. I think one was like... I could think it was in the trailer for Left 4 Dead 1. Well, the intro. Like, son, we haven't even crossed the street. And then Louis was like... When they made it to the rooftop for no mercy. It's like, son, we haven't even crossed the street. Well, Lewis was like, oh, we've made it. We actually made it. And, like, Bill was like, son, we haven't even crossed this. Son, we just crossed the street. I think that was it. I could just search this up. It'd probably make this tier a lot easier. But, yeah. Nick. So, yeah, Nick. Lines, he's funny. Um, I mean, if I was a girl, I mean, I'm putting if I was a girl's perspective, perspective, I would probably want to, you know, do something with Nick or what? Because as a girl, he's probably a good looking character. Out of like all the other survivors, like look at this ugly, ugly. Yeah, I, even for a guy, he looks alright. But, yeah. Because he has all this exes. <laughs> Coaches. I mean, Coach ain't that ugly. And this is. Yeah, just. I <laughs> don't yeah, know. Um. I don't know if he deserves S tier. I'll put him at, at a high A. Like, in the middle between A and S tier, that would probably where he would belong. <coughs> Anyways. On to... And anyways, I should have said this at the beginning. I'm not going to be including, like... Like, um... How do I say? Like, other characters like Virgil and stuff. To get, this is just survivors. Like, the main characters that you can play as and whatnot. But anyways, coach. Let me just put that big boy right in S tier. He is single handedly handily my most favorite character. In probably the whole game. At least my favorite Left 4 Dead 2 character. 
Because my guy, this guy is like funny as hell. He has my most favorite lines. I can remember a lot of this. Like the character I remember the lines most from is Coach. One of his other lines. Where he got down loading fucking his other lines like Nicholas <laughs> Boy Girl I'ma be a one man cheeseburger apocalypse. <laughs> Probably my most favorite one. And something like I'm gonna order something about Burger Tank, like he's ordering a menu like he's just man. My guy. He is probably like the best one. <coughs> Ellis on the other hand. My buddy Keith once told me my buddy Keith, my buddy Keith, my buddy Keith once did this thing for fuck's sake with Keith and Keith and Keith. I feel like like I feel like if there's one character Um, my computer just glitched a little bit. I feel like there was one character that was overrated would be Ellis. If I I feel like okay. Okay, that video just stopped recording for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah. I feel like if there was one character that was overrated would be Ellis. Because fucking I don't know what people think that's funny. My buddy Keith once told me that I'm like, I immediately leave the safe room every time I hear. My buddy Keith once told me time. My buddy Keith, my buddy Keith. Like, Jesus Christ, so annoying. He's like, I, I feel like, if anything, he's the most overrated characters. Like, Bill Zoe Coach, I feel like they're overrated, but, you know, they're good, so I don't care. Alice, on the other hand, just so overrated, man. I really don't like him. But is he a bad character? I don't know. Probably not. Not really. But still, like... Uh, actually, you know, for what I said for any character being on D tier. Scratch that. <laughs> yeah, at least, uh... Yeah, buddy, you going on uh, D tier. Don't. Don't, uh... Really like him. He's just so annoying, like... Like, he's the reason why I want to turn down my game volume. God, dude. I mean, applying that. Yeah. Rochelle, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Rochelle, wait, what? Um, yeah, I mean, she's kind of a bland character. But she, because she's a chick, I'll put her at B. I, I, I don't know how to rate this tier. Um, do this tier list, honestly. But, like... Yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, Rochelle is like... He's alright, I guess. And yeah. It's such a crappy tier list, but yeah. Because I'm not really good at, like, trying to remember... Characters, backstory, and like... Like, because I don't really care about the score... score story that much like like I know they're a good character but like I can't really remember like their lines by heart like I can barely remember any of their lines but but I know every time I'm in game I, oh I like this character oh I like this one but yeah Ellis is just like man bro but anyways, uh, hope you enjoy, um, next tier list I'm gonna do, it's gonna be, uh, a tier list mutation. So I'm gonna be ranking all the, um, the, um, mutations tier list. I don't know why, I did the primary we weapons, but I don't think it'll matter for the melee weapons that much, because they're pretty much all the same, they'll just hit at, like, a faster speed. There's really any differences, honestly. The only thing that's different is, like, maybe some melee weapons have more range, or they swing faster, swing slower. Or some melee weapons, like axes and machetes, can slice smokers' tongues. Like, there's really no point. I mean, and the deagle would automatically be high tier. Like, that's the best one. 
And probably every single melee weapon. Actually, probably not. Probably the machete and sword will be. But, eh. Probably not, though. Because there's really no difference. They all kill. Do the same bits of damage, honestly. They can all kill. Well, as long as you're playing regular base campaign. They all pretty much do. The melee weapons do all the same. But, yeah. If you have any other... Uh, ideas I could do, you know. Leave them in the comments. Brr. So yeah, next one is definitely mutation. Like, mutation like uh, tank mode, bleed out. Yeah. So that should be well, a long video. And I'm gonna include the new ones that the um, Lefford in one Lefford in one, Lefford in 2 update got in the last stand update. So I'm gonna be including those as well. So anyways, peace.